Hi, welcome to this Recruit Online training session. In this session, I'm going to talk about the client portal and how you set up access for your clients to be able to log in and use the portal. If you look in the help system, there's an article, search for client portal, and you'll find an article that runs through all of the things I'm about to show you. So in Recruit Online, the thing to understand is your clients don't automatically get access to their portal. For a particular client to get access, you have to give them a username and password. So for example, if I want to give a password to this particular person here, I would click on their record in Recruit Online. And then from there, I would go edit logon. Now the edit logon allows you to set a password and, and you would want to have a standard way of doing this. So typically you'd use someone's email address as their user account um, and username and then set that password. Once you've done that, if you wanted to email them a, a message from the system for that um, password and username, you would hit yes and hit save logon details. Now, a person uh, that you give access to the portal for can see certain things based on that um, username and password. If you need them to see other permissions, so for example, um, uh, to be able to see their invoices and run reports, you would click on that section there and select the particular invoices and client codes uh, that they would be able to see. Similarly, you can um, look to see if they uh, are able to use the daily booking uh, feature. Um, and so basically choose a, um, an additional part of the system for them to use. So if I set that person to be able to see uh, that daily booking feature and hit save, uh, that will set them uh, to give them access. So to show you what it looks like as a client, I'm going to log out of the system because obviously if I'm already logged in, uh, I can't log in as a client. And I'm going to um, log in now as the uh, client. So they come along to your website and click on the login button, put in their username and password and select login as a client. When they do that, they come into the portal and the portal that is configured for your agency. So this is obviously a demo portal and um, depending on your branding and colors and the wording that you wish to have um, in your um, particular client portal, um, it would be set out accordingly. So with that in mind, the actual menu bar that you see here may look exactly like this, or it may be slightly different. You might have different words or certain sections that aren't used in your organization. But this is an example where our fictional um, contact is logged in and it's saying, welcome, John, you know, the team at demo agency. So your agency would like to welcome you know, them from, you know, mega industries. So just to go through the um, some of the features in this portal, um, if you're looking at the permanent staffing side of things, there's the ability for this uh, client to request a permanent um, person. So this is a was basically a, a vacancy request form and that would create a vacancy request and notify uh, consultants within your business. They can also see candidates have been referred so without going into too much detail you might have a job um, where you're looking uh, for candidates for them and when you um, have referred candidates to them they will appear in here so this is where they would be able to see only those candidates who are referred so in this instance there's only three out of the four applicants have been referred and they can see details um, see feedback that you might have put in as your notes uh, they can add their own feedback and see resumes or other documents that you've made available in the portal to them um, other things within that, there is also, for example, a, a database of sample interview questions. So this could be something where you're helping the client to understand some of the questions they could ask. So, for example, they want to ask questions about teamwork. There's a, a list of questions that might um, assist in um, getting information from a, a candidate when a, you're talking about teamwork and, and things like that. Going over to the temporary staffing side of things, they can see current casuals. So if you have people placed currently on assignment with that particular client, um, when they click on there, they can see the list of these people. So if they then um, click on uh, this icon here, what that will do is bring up some details about the person, so potentially a photo if you have that stored, and also uh, compliances and, and their statuses. So you can sort of publish um, where somebody's particular requirements for that job uh, are. So uh, as a way of ensuring with the client that you know um, somebody's current forklift license uh, is actively current rather than has expired and, and that sort of stuff. 
Um, they can order staff, so depending on the um, rate schedules that they you have within your system, they would then be able to book certain um, uh, casuals uh, and assignments in here, and so we would click through here and, and order starts. Similarly, um, uh, they can see previous orders and um, see open orders that have yet to be filled and so on, and obviously filled orders where people have yet to start. They also have the ability to see who, when you've had a, an assignment finish, who um, you would, uh, they would have back, and they can also add feedback. So imagine that they had Andrew Roberts and they wish to uh, update that feedback, they could do that and that will come through to the, the Recruit Online system. The green icons, uh, or the green colouring here, means that they're currently on site. So these would be an example where they've had Janet on site before and they said they'd have her back and she happens to be back uh, in another order. So just uh, in that, um, there's also functionality if the client is using daily bookings. Um, and this is um, functions around um, just booking daily one-off type orders. So again, the client would uh, come in here, uh, pick out uh, a section to add a booking and then pick out the, the people that the, uh, they need uh, for particular shifts and, and that sort of stuff. Um, Timesheets are very straightforward. So where a, uh, a casual has submitted a timesheet, when they click on there, they'll have um, an icon saying they have timesheets to approve. And the process there is if they are a, um, a, a approver set against that timesheet, this will appear for them. If they have a few people, they can sort of hover over and see a summary of the hours that uh, people have submitted and then bulk approve them. Or what they can do is to drill into <clears throat> a particular timesheet um, and either request changes or approve the hours. If they approve the hours, they then would approve, you know, based on your terms and conditions, uh, uh, click to confirm that and sign the timesheet. And then that will go back into Recruit Online and Pinvoicer. Um, if they've been set up access, they can see invoices. So invoices um, uh, would be allowed, you know, able to have a look, um, uh, drill down onto an invoice uh, and see you know, all of the items, download a PDF, etc., and that sort of stuff. And if you are receipting, they can also see statements, um, uh, if, again, if they've been set up for that, um, or potentially run reports. So they might want to report you know, for a particular period, um, uh, for example, uh, and run a report to see what data is there. Um, and that might be around you know, certain pay codes, quantities, rates. Uh, people, etc., and then they can download that um, uh, and uh, manipulate that in Excel. Other things that you have um, uh, within there, so um, we have custom forms, as you would uh, be aware, um, and in that you might have created a custom form. So in this example, there might be a, an OHS incident type report form, where in the you know, in this uh, example, if there was an incident on site, um, you might ask the client to complete this form. Uh, so this is an example where the actual form itself is just um, a, a mock-up, uh, so you have whatever your specific form is, but they would you know, have a list of whatever questions you want with the ability for the client to, to sign, submit, and then you would handle that internally within your um, uh, Recruit Online process of um, locking that form and producing a document and that sort of stuff. Um, other aspect too, files. So if you've got files that you've saved in their Recruit Online record and you've said that they're visible in the portal, uh, then they would be visible so they could then download that particular document and, and see that. So that could be any document or image uh, that you save to their file. So it is a very powerful tool. Um, part of um, using it with your clients would be to explain to them how it's used. There is a, a sort of broad help function um, in uh, uh, the portal itself, so you might talk through that help and the uh, system with them. Um, and depending on your agency, um, the, you know, this itself can be customized. So um, it, it might be more specific to you. So in this case, it's obviously gonna drag out your agency name in, within this help file. So I hope that makes sense. It's certainly well worth uh, spending a bit of time looking at your client portal and understanding what your client portal can do. And then um, explaining that clearly to your clients as a way of um, in, um, improving your services to them. So if you need any more information on that, obviously have a look at the client portal, particularly around setting up passwords, logging guidelines, and um, how to uh, activate daily orders and, and those sort of things.